Good morning, you beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. Happy Friday. I hope everybody enjoyed my full length movie I made. I am Spielsberg and Spike and Julia Roberts and all in one and I craft. I just don't have their money. <laughs> Too funny. With that being said, I was not offended by this person's comment. I just thought it was humorous because they complained the video was too long and I said, with that being said, 25 times. So I didn't realize that I actually said that. I knew I said it periodically, but it's a lot. So <laughs> anyway, um, I want to thank you all from the bottom of your heart. Y'all thought I was offended, but I was not, but I just thought it was funny. So I was trying not to say it, but it, it's going to come out. And I think the t-shirt will be made and I think the mugs will be made. So anyways, with that being said, today's video, I'm making something for my trailer. I, it ain't going to happen today, but I'm going to show you what my, I purchased this table. Let me move my beautiful box. I'm going to push this, I'm just going to hold it up so you can see what it is. I purchased this. It is a end table with the books and it has a lamp on it. But the, let me just turn this around. But the front of it, top of it is all goofied up. And I knew that when I bought it, I bought it for 25 bucks. It's solid wood. This um, lamp does come out. So my thoughts were at my trailer, I am going to do a beach resin top. I'm going to put all of my sand and a little bit of shells up here because you're not going to put your stuff up this top and blow all my beach down that way. So I've never done one before. That is today's video. I had, I've showed this before. It is, let me just get the measurements. I think it might be a, let me see. It's 12 inch from tip to tip, but the actual top of it is 11 and a half, like where the rim is. It's just a pine board. I have it already prepped. I painted it black. So I'm gonna um, go through all of the stuff. I have some cool things I bought at the dollar store and I'm gonna put all in here. So with that being said, my beautiful people, we're gonna get all ready. I will not mix my resin up until, cause I'm gonna paint this. I'm going to do like a dark blue, a mid blue, a light blue, and then a tanny color just so, um, cause I've never done it before. So I'm very, very, very excited. So that being said, there's two, maybe three. I will see you guys in a couple minutes. If I can find the button there. Hello, we are back. I have so many things. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I have got my round. I've already got it base coated with the black. It's been base coated for quite some time. So I have these paints and I want to paint, I think I might do this. And because I do not have a sand, I'm going to mix these two together. I don't know, might throw that in there too. We'll see there. I think that might be the colors. Do I put, anyways, I think that's going to be the colors and I'll just go through everything right now. So I've got that. I have purchased this from the Dollar Dollarama. It is sea glass. Now what I did is I poured it all over my block here and I just picked out some of the smaller pieces. I really liked this idea. Maybe the shards, we'll see. So I'm gonna put those on my styrofoam plate and I am the worst I picked this um, I picked this up the other day four dollars at the dollar rama I like using them on top of this rack because it brings everything up for me so I got the paint colors I have this 
dollar store sand. My son's girlfriend gave me this. Um, I have a hard time reading, reading these. I have no clue. It's like a sandy, it's like a sandy glitter. So in my little brain, and then she also sent me that, gave me this, and it's the same Ikea, and it's a white sands. So in my little brain, I thought I might mix these three together. I might also purchase this at Michael's. It's Ashland's decorative filler and it's broken shells. I might mix a little bit in with the sand and I might put some in it. And the same with the glass. The glass I might place on top and I might actually break these up with my hammer on my cement floor. And then I also purchased these at Dollarama. These are the little conch shells or whatever you want to call them. So that will be embedded in the resin on the bottom. So we are going to mix it up. So I'm going to put my lids on these, move them over. We're going to get painting. And then once I'm done the base coat painting, I'm going to love you, leave you, let it dry. And then we will um, get right to the fun part of the resin. I've never done it before, so I'm very, very excited to try. And with the resin colors, I am using um, Lorez pigments from Laura's Art Corner. I'm going to try, this one is the Metallic Epoxy Pigment Paste. This one is Peacock Dance. This one is the Aqua. And I think if I get darker, like mix a little more in some, mix a little less in another. I'm trying to find my little bear. I had him out here as my little, oh, here he is. So it, it, it is this color when you add quite a bit of the pigment. Um, this one is where when I made those coasters, it was really, really light. So, and to get the waves, I am using Lorez's, um Angel White. Alrighty, my friends. We're going to get right down to business and get some painting going on. And not being fancy, I'm just using a foam brush. And I might mix these. Yeah, we'll start with the with the um with this and I'm going to mix it up on my plate. Cuz I want to get a nice It's really funny. I'm not a brown girl. Brown colors, brown themed I'm like, I, I'll do a copper and stuff, but I've not, so I, I went out of my comfort zone and I had bought all of these brown paints, but not one that was quite the color I wanted. And that's the way life works, isn't it? I'm going to take my little, my little palette knife and we're going to mix this up. Maybe it'll be a little bit more of what I want. Maybe a little more of the lighter. And again, it's all going to be covered, so it doesn't really matter. My personal opinion, I've never done it before, so I shouldn't speak before I, I do, I guess. But all you people that have done this before are probably going to critique me all the way through, <laughs> which is perfectly fine. You don't... Um, I think this is going to be good. Now... I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way I want to paint it with the grain so if you can see the grain it goes this way so but I might do a little funky and we're gonna go right over the sides Just do some kind of a, I don't want it to be. Straight across. And I want a little, you know, a substantial amount. And we're going to bring back some white over this. And 
and remember get your edges because the back is already um, I've got the back already done prepped and ready to go so I'm gonna do one coat with you guys here and I'm thinking I might do a second one just so it's solid color one done. I'm just gonna not really gonna wash out the brush. Let me just get a little bit of water. I took my measuring big measuring thing upstairs to clean everything and I left it up there. Um, trying to go environmentally but I guess I have these cups so I'm gonna use them when I have to use it. I am going to take out the water. I lied. <laughs> and, or the color. Let me grab my paper towel here. Just so. Oh, the cover came to my rack. At the end of the video, I'll show you. I have to move it though because um, in my basement, I have a lowered ceiling all the way down the center of the basement for the ductwork. So where I have the stand sits right where the ductwork is. So, all right, we are gonna do, is it the lighter green and then the blue? Yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna go like that. Woo without those little bloppy turds and a little like that <sighs> and dark 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 on the top and I'm gonna try to ombre it oh I love that color it is so pretty so bright all right here we go here we go and before I blend I want to make Make sure I get the edging. Oh, too funny. My husband bought me a... Okay, start off. My husband's mother, my mother-in-law, because my husband can't go out and physically shovel, she purchased him so he could feel like he can do some stuff. So he can go out. It's like a, a shovel, a power shovel. So... It's got like a little um, clip on the handle where you, it makes it go and it blows the snow. So you put, all you do is push it. So that was fine. But last year, my car got stuck in the snow and I tried to get it off the road. It took me, oh my goodness, 45 minutes at the end of my driveway because I was on my way to work. And as you ram it to go, ram it to go, I drove right into my deck because my car wouldn't stop. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And of course the shovel was sitting there. So all was good. Nothing was damaged except for the shovel part. I might bring some more of this back up here. So as I was shoveling, because we got a bit of snow this year, I would come in and I look like an abominable snowman and my husband would laugh at me and then I would get mad because he was laughing and because I was frustrated because the what happened when I hit the snowblower it bent the part that blows the snow so of course where did it go all in my face so I would come in as a snowman I'm just gonna I put too much paint I'm gonna take it off so with that he ordered a new one which was quite a big one, but it's been back ordered since December, which is very frustrating because we had all that snow a couple weeks ago. Well, it came yesterday and it's so beautiful out today. So I don't want snow, but I want, a, I want a little so I can try it out. It's kind of funny. So I'm gonna blend that in. I'm thinking I'm going to come back with a little more of that brown. 
I'm very excited for this. I'm excited to do that table because the table I think is going to be cool at the trailer. We are doing some, um, we're getting rid of some stuff at the trailer. I've opted to get rid of our couch. It is not very comfortable and it has a blow up mattress with the built in um, pump. Well, it broke last year. I felt so bad. My son-in-law, because he builds decks for a living, came up from Toronto, spent, you know, oodles of times. If you guys have watched my channel, you've seen the amazing results. And so there is a video of my deck. But anyways, I felt so bad. The poor guy, he ended up, I woke up and he was asleep in the lazy boy chair because the bed broke. And I'm like, really? I'm like, you should have woke me up. I would have helped you fix it. So anyways, with that, with that being said, we're, um, we got, we're gonna get rid of the couch. We have someone that's gonna come and take it out. I bought myself two leather swivel rockers with foot, with foot, um, they don't recline, but they have nice um, foot rests. So I got two of them to go in that spot and that's what I bought the table for. The table's gonna go in between. And that's gonna be my area because I like to sit and I find a crochet at night at the trailer. So, yes. So that's what made me think of doing this because I wanted to do the, oh my goodness Sherry, I got a lot of paint. Look at my poor plate. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring spin this around so I can do this a bit better. I'm gonna then I'm gonna blend it all through. I just want to make sure the edges are done. I'm excited. I have um, I think it's 24 inch rounds of these, so I will be doing a table. So I'm excited about that. So I'm not sure what it will be whether it be something like this, whether it will be a, um, a Dutch pour on it, I'm not sure. All right, I'm just going to um, grab another brush because this one is just caked with loaded. And I'm gonna bring up some more of this brown. Actually, I guess I can do the second coat because it's dry. And I'm going to try and blend in a little more of the... Bring it up a bit more because I wasn't quite happy how that was left there. Lost its little... Kind of off the, the side. And I really want to make sure the sides are done because they're not going to get, like I know I'm going to put colored. So what I'm thinking on the bottom, I'm just going to cake in on the sand. I'm going to put clear resin down and I'm going to pour the sand mixture that I'm going to make with the glittery, the white, just to give it a little bit of a texture. It's not just one color. I'm just getting my edges. And this one's rounded, so you have to really pay attention on the edges. So I'm gonna have to come back and fix here because I didn't get the whole thing. You are getting it in there, there you go. All right. Perfecto. Well, not perfect, perfection, but as good as it's gonna get. is I'm just going to start going up like this. So it's got definition and color, but not, I might bring back some of the, the, the lighter color I took it out. Sometimes you just got to stop, right? Instead of playing around. There we go. 
and I think we're going to leave it at that. I'm just going to make sure my edges are done. I'm bringing this back down and over top where I don't want to do. So yes, I'm going to bring back the, um, we're going to let it dry. Sorry, I'm losing my thought here. We're going to let it dry. I'm going to make sure my edges are completely done. And I think that's good. I'm not going to play around with it too much because then you can get too much into that. I might bring in some more of the dark on the top and bring it down a little more. There we go. So I'm just going to use my brush. We're going to get the edges, let it dry. Oops, bedoozer. Because I didn't get all the way around the bottom. Like, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to have pigment in here, but I want to make sure that the edges are done. And all these lines, they're going to disappear because resin will take all that stuff out. Sorry, you're not in there. My apologies, guys. And that's another thing I do say a lot. My coworkers, it's a big thing at my job. I say sorry constantly. It's a Canadian thing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna bring in the lighter color on the side, just in case. We want it to look good. My first attempt. Perfect. Alrighty, we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna figure out how much resin I need. I'm pretty sure I don't need a whole whole lot because this is not very big. And yeah, I'll see you guys when it's dry. Hello, we are back. Now this is I did not pre I did not re-record my um, video that I didn't videotape this being resin. So you have my base coat and me explaining everything from this one. Now I've repainted another one because I had me being me, I have four of these. So I pre-painted this one. Same idea as this. Um, taped it. We're good to go. So, with that, I overmixed. I always do a little bit because I have to make X's and O's. So, I have eight ounces, which is probably four ounces more than I need on this. My thoughts were I would mix up some X's and O's, and if I have anything left, I will put it into mm, the last one I did pig with some sand and some brown <laughs> so we'll figure that out now my I'm gonna do a clear layer here I'm gonna do three different blues but when I put my clear layer in I'm gonna add sand on top now just kind of I guess it's live and learn this turned out so so dark so I'm gonna see and I'm not going to put all of these chips in. The chips were mixed in with the sand. I'm not going to do that. With, um, I have this stuff I got from my son's girlfriend. She gave me this. It doesn't tell you what it is, but to me, it's just, mm, it's clear sand. Like it's, it's, it, it's white sand. So I've got that. This is from Ikea. She also gave me this, and it's kind of, it's like sand. Can you hear that? It's like sand with glitter. So that's going in there. Because, you know, a little bit of glitter in the sand is nice. And I bought this actual sand from Dollar Rama. And it's chunky. Like it's, it's quite granulated. So I put a little bit in here and that's what took over in the other one. So I'm going to see if I put the ratio more white than I had the other one. I 
actually maybe I'll put more white in there because I don't know I I didn't I like the idea of a little bit of a lighter color there we go when I was at the dollar store after I made that one I found these amazing they were a dollar 75 like look at the shape of these amazing so once I do my second coat I'm gonna add these so the bag had that so that's got all of these in it there was a bag that had all of these and again a dollar 75 for each bag then there was another bag it broke but it was all like the clamshells different sizes different colors so with that I'm gonna add those later and then from my other video I have these little ones so I might put a little vignette just a little bit in the corner so and I also have my broken oh my fingers are getting stuck I also have my broken glass from this is um, sea glass or beach glass whatever you want to call it it was from the dollar store as well and the chips I might throw in these are from um, Michael's it is Ashland's decorative filler in the same aisle with the um, my broken glass but it's chips all right enough with that I have Laura's art corner Lorez pigments is what we are going to use today I have this one is peacock dance that's the nice dark one that I've been whoops that I've been using this is what it looks like when you've got it quite dark Whoop, there you go and so I'm gonna do one with a lot and one with a little and then this is the aqua ocean and then for my waves, I am use I keep it in this just because it was a little messy when I opened it, so in that way it doesn't mess up my stuff. But this is um, Lorez pigment. This one is Angel White, and I'm going to use that for my. My brain's not working today. I'm going to use that for my my waves. All right, now I'm excited. I hit record. The red button's on, so we're good. I'm gonna get out some sticks. Alrighty, so with that, I am putting, gonna put, what did I do? I'm gonna do 80 ounces. Ah, these are milliliters, 80 ounces. Could you imagine? Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get the stir stick. My hand is so bummed at the moment. Okay. Trying to get it to the second top and it's hard to see because of my lighting at the moment all right there's that we're gonna add color to that I'm gonna do the same with this maybe a little less and yes because I want three colors not so much in that one well maybe well actually that one is good and then I'm going to do this one with just a tad in it I'm going to do 20 mils in this one and that'll be my white I was hoping I had enough to do actually you know what I'm just going to dump I need clear for the end as well so let me get the clear on and then I will mix up because I want clear on the bottom where the brown is. I'm going to take a little bit of this and a little from this one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to move these because you want these clean. And I think I might have just... Alrighty, we're going to take the dark one. I'm going to let that, hopefully, let me just do this so that we can play here in a minute. I just want to get it so that I'm not losing all of the resin. I 
I want it to drip on the edging, but I don't want it to, I don't want to lose all of it. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. This stuff is so gorgeous. So give it a mix. This one is the Peacock Dance. And like I said, I want that top part to be dark. So I am normally would scrape it off, but I'm using that much and I'm going to put it in this one going to take another actually what I found the last time was if I mixed and then I use that stick and put it in the next one because that's it's hard to tell that's nice and dark actually now let's see if we can A little less because you want it variegated oh not I guess as variegated the word ombre I might put just a tad just a that's it I just dumped it in and that's it maybe I'll scrape it too and that'll go in there so that one is done and again, that one is La Res Pigment Paste, and it is, my hands are all glue. It is the Peacock Dance from Laura's Art Corner. And now we will do this one. And it is the Aqua. And we're going to give it a, it looks like ocean in there as it is before you stir it. It's so pretty. Hence the name, eh? Aqua Ocean. Thank you, Laura. She picked out the colors for me because she thought this would be a pretty one for the... And if I remember correctly, I ended up putting... I'm going to put like a dollop on the end because I found it was a little transparent when I was mixing. And let's get this one going here. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to pull the sticks out because I don't want it to become too, too dark, being the pigment is on the stick. Let's get this one going. All right, and let's get the white. Let's, oh, I had... A virtual appointment with my doctor and then I think I'm getting a call from the specialist this week I'm pretty sure it's just a trigger finger but it's happening in my right thumb oh so certain things I'm good and then all of a sudden it's like oh, what happened there so I'm gonna do that and put that in there I'm hoping that's not too much but you live and learn with Sherry. Here we go. So I'm going to put all of my stuff on that side. And Laura says to try and use my torch, and that'll bring up cells, which is kind of cool. All right. So I hope you liked today's video, my little extra bonus. I think it turned out pretty cool because when I was doing this as you will see in the video I'm like oh my goodness I have to do all right so light this is the light one we're gonna come down and this is why you base coat your in colors because if so be that you have um, where the resin is a little more transparent, then you can have um, your, you've got the color behind you going with you too. So I'm gonna try and bring this in a little more so that'll, 
and I'm going to use my fingers to get this going here. There we go. Get the sides. And when I come back with my um, second coat, then we can fix up all these little things that are on the sides that don't turn, come out properly. So I'm dumping it all. Now I did have drip off on the other one. I'll show you. It actually looks kind of cool. And here we go. The dark. And then once I do my waves at the bottom, I will put my sand on. I'm hoping it's there. There, it feels good to me. All right. Just gonna get that on this side. I'm gonna remove this, so I'm gonna get another one. I've learned, I bought, they're both the same size, but these ones are so big. So I've learned that if I take my glove off, I'm using that one. Okay, so I'm going to grab my heat gun. And we're gonna warm it up. <gasps> oh my goodness, is that why it did it? Okay, I have to show you what I found out. Let's just do this first. We'll get all these bubbles out. Warm it up. I didn't know. I was watching a video. Did not know that if you turn this, I was having a hard time for it blowing when I did the other one and that's it okay let me oh no okay I did I don't know if you can see it I'm getting air bubbles from my wood I'm hoping we can manage with that all right you know what I might put I'm gonna do the sand and then that way I can blow the things into the sand. And we're just gonna, my spoon and we're gonna shake. And I want it all on the edges. Just gonna do the edging first. Just, I'm hoping that the lighter color works good. The lighter bits of the sand. I guess the only good thing is if there's those little bit bubbles, it's like, okay, there's air bubbles in the water. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just going to try and throw. Anyways, we'll figure that. Good, perfect. All right. Now I'm going to put a line on the, the beach. We're going to put a line. And then another one up here. 
So we'll do these three and I'm gonna see how that goes. All right, this is gonna go down this way. Just gonna warm it up first. Goodness. So much better now that I figured out the thing in the back. my lord <gasps> I am oh, this down here <gasps> oh my goodness I'm gonna do oh, I'm gonna do little bits in here and see what it does And then come this way. All right. Oh my goodness gracious. Why have I not done these before? And yes, I, um, I'm hoping my second layer that I'm gonna do will rectify the bubbles that are coming up. Why is there always something with my chin? Always. Always something. The lacing is beautiful. All right, maybe, let's see. I'm gonna put, there was one of these that was really white. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put these in now. And then that way when I do the second one, it'll, it'll pour around it. So I'm gonna do that. We will do couple of these little guys I don't want to go crazy because I like the idea and I'm just going to try and find one of these that are pretty that's has some oh, has some color in it so maybe we'll do this And then sprinkle a little couple of these. 
done. I'm, oh, it turned out amazing, except for the fact that there's bubbles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back on this one and I'm gonna do a second layer. And I'm wondering if that's what that is in there too, but it was already painted. This one has been painted for months. So this one I just painted this morning. Oh, it's frothing up on the sides. All right. We lost that nice wave, but I love how this one, I don't know if you can see it, it's amazing. Okay, with that, I'm gonna let this dry. I love this little, I like that aspect better than having it throughout the whole thing. And what did I forget? Let's do a couple, couple pieces of the glass, maybe. Just little ones. And an orange one, since there's one there. There. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to let this sit. Hopefully, I didn't ruin it too much. Maybe the bubbles will show through on the second layer, and it'll look cool. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> With that, I will see you guys um, when I put the second coat on. We are back. I'm not sure if I mentioned I used the crystal resin, to, resin choice. I'll link that in the description box. And I am finished. I don't think I'm gonna do a second coat. Now this one, someone, Laura was suggesting to do a second coat because I didn't get any of this down here. But I think if I did another layer, it might be too many if that makes any sense I like the sand better in this one I put lighter sand and I didn't put all of that in it I like the little vignette little idea over in the corner now I'm just gonna let you know I don't think I mentioned it but when you when you use your um, heat gun I did not know that the end of it you can turn it and when I was doing the video for this one I had the hardest time blowing anything. That's why the stuff didn't go very far. This wasn't turned to high. When I turned it to high, I was like, oh my goodness. So, look at how that turned out. Is that not just, I'm impressed. And as I was doing it, um, you could probably see in the video, all the little bubbles kept coming up. I did paint it, so don't say I didn't coat it, but I did. I should have done two coats. But I kept coming down every couple of minutes, and I think that's the only little spot there that has a couple of those little air bubbles. But I um, spritzed it with the alcohol, and it takes away the bubbles. So that worked out quite well. But, yeah, I was impressed. So with that being said... I hope everyone has a wonderful Friday. I hope you enjoyed our um, X's and O's that we did on Monday. And it's a beach theme week. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get notifications, hit the bell. And if you see what you like, if you like what you see, um, give it a share. And don't forget to use my discount code. It is in the description box for Laura's Art Corner. It is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. And you'll get 10% off your order. Um, my Facebook page is in there. And my Amazon shops. And my PayPal link. So I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful Friday. Bye.